Welcome to Season 6, Episode 5 of the Heart of Bastrop Talk Show. I'm TJ Finn, Chairman of the Board for the Heart of Texas Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Connie Schrader, Mayor of the City of Bastrop. This is going to be a fun episode. We have Dina and Jeff with us with Bastrop Botanical Gardens. They want to teach you about gardening. They do, and I need to learn. <laughs> <laughs> and we've also got Terry Moore with the City of Bastrop Recreation Center. And Terry's amazing. She puts recreation definitely into the City of Bastrop. Yes, she does. <laughs> That's amazing. We also have Jean Lang, our dear friend. She's going to tell us about what the Order of the Eastern Star has coming up. And anything involving food and Jean... I'm there. So you guys stick around. So we're here with Dina Spellman and Jeff Long with Bastrop Botanical Gardens. We want to know all about everything that you guys do. Well, thank you. Bastrop Botanical Gardens is a teaching nursery that offers organics, herbs, natives, and vegetables, seasonal vegetables. I love that. Everything. Everything. You've got it covered. <laughs> we teach about mushrooms, we teach about herbs, and we teach about organics. We've offered and built a labyrinth, a butterfly garden, a moon garden, and in the back of our area is a little Bastrop Gardens Pick Your Own Farm so wow. that you can come in and seasonally pick the veg. I love that. I love that. And so so you, you said you offer classes. Uh, is there usually on the weekends? You have weekday, both? How does we that have work? Classes are generally on Saturdays. You can find us at, at BastropBotanicalGardens.com. They'll be listed there. And then, of course, the social media pages. Wow. And we have a nice class that will be uh, the series lawnless landscape series mm -hmm. begins on earth day and finishes at the end of april and first of may well tell us about that what is that well that's really where we address permaculture and how to uh, work with a landscape that does away with lawns or actually can use a small approach to turf area Fine. rather than the traditional way of dressing a house with the large lawn and a few shrubs instead it makes it more um adaptable to the climate change, to the water issues we're facing, to have a little bit of area that is necessary maybe for your pets or oh, family, nice. grandchildren if you like, but not the expansive lawns that we've been creating over the years because let's face it, water is an issue. It is an issue. It is certainly around here in the summertime, the droughts. I tell you, we can, we can have some nasty ones. So how long have you guys been doing this? 25 years. Wow. And I've been a licensed irrigator for 22 of those. Oh, wow. Goodness. So so, so you have the experience. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I love we're, that. Uh, as a licensed irrigator, we're concerned about conserving water and using water-wise higher-level higher technology. <clears throat> the old rotors that go back and forth waste a lot of water. Mm -hmm. You can lose 30% of your water just from evaporation while it's running. Wow. So we switched to a different type of rotor called an MP rotor, which actually throws out droplets of water, mm -hmm. which creates less waste. Wow. And we also very highly encourage drip irrigation because there's almost no water waste with drip. That's wonderful. You, you know, I, right on the target. That's there perfect. You, you know, on my way in this morning, I was listening to the radio and they were talking about the importance of capturing rainwater because water is is a big deal in this area. And I was like, you know, that's something I think we all need to look into. Well, that's one of the classes we have and also one of the examples we set. We have a 25,000 gallon rainwater collection system on our barn that takes all the water in from the rain that waters the nursery for us. Nice. And then we've also taught and continue to teach classes on rainwater collection where you use the 50-gallon drum on the side of your house or spigot so that you can collect a little bit of rainwater for yourself at your downspout for your garden needs. That's There's great. nothing better than rainwater, let's oh, face absolutely. it. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. And we're... we're we order water here all the time. Sometimes the mayor don't let us have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, you were right. talking about the backflow preventer, and that's such an important part yes, of the irrigation system. Yes, that's a very, system. very important public program that the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality oversees. Uh, backflow, a lot of people don't know what it means when they get that notice from the water purveyor that they need their backflow tested. And now... Uh, we go to an annual test on all backflows 
And what a backflow does is it keeps irrigation water, which is considered non-potable because it's easy to pollute. You know, stuff could come back through the heads. Right. That if the water main drops pressure, the backflow device closes and doesn't allow that contaminated water to get back into the water system. And a contamination issue costs tens of thousands of dollars per quarter mile. Absolutely. And from a municipality standpoint, of course, we're extremely concerned about that. And it can impact your neighbors in ways that you didn't mean for it to. And the backflow preventers, getting them inspected, it's not that hard. And it, they're easy to replace if there is a problem. But I'm so glad that Correct. you're teaching people about that because not everybody understands that. Right. Right. Well, I appreciate you guys coming out today and tell everyone one more time how they can find you and how they can get signed up for all these wonderful classes. Well, thank you. Bass Rock Gardens is the umbrella in which we have Bass Rock Botanical Gardens, the Labyrinth, and Bass Rock Gardens Pick Your Own Farm. We're at 316 Old 71. Any MAPS program should bring you to us, but you're also www.bassrockbotanicalgardens.com. We'll tell you our classes, and it's also full of information on planting dates and different references and resources and things. Not to mention her fabulous recipes. She's Ooh. a Oh, yes, there is a <laughs> section on farm-to-table recipes and oh, that wow. sort of thing, and, and we like to... Um, talk about our natives. I mean, the, the part of the WaterWise program, matching them with natives, and then the vegetables, teaching people how what herbs to accompany the vegetables, and it all correlates, and the grounds make a beautiful demonstration of that and how to do that very easily for yourself. I would say we're definitely the DIYers nursery. Oh, I love <laughs> it. You know? I, I want to come out and see this uh, labyrinth that you built absolutely <laughs> well thank you guys so much and and we're definitely going to come check you out All excellent right. thank you we'll guys thank you. With you yeah We are here with Terry Moore with the City of Bastrop Recreation Center, and Terry Moore likes to talk about recreation. I love to talk about recreation. So we just finished the survey for the master plan, and now it's time for the next step. Tell us what's going on. So we once we've got the survey back, we hear what people want in a recreation program and our park system. You know, you can't build a, a good parks and recreation master plan for the next 10 years if you don't hear from people. Right. So we got great response. People were really good about filling out the survey, doing the mapping tools and the stuff like that. So we got some good information. We're hoping in May that we'll start being uh, able to present some of the concepts to the public of what the consultants and what their comments brought out. So we're that's, excited about that. That's amazing. Uh, city pool, city pool, city pool. I know. Just throwing I said that, that out, out as many times. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so that, that was the top. That was one of the and, and we even had people write in there year round. Yeah. Year yeah, round. Put yes. their God on there and say city pool, but Heated year pool. round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, there is always something going on at Recreation Center. There he is. And we're, we're excited because we've been able to partner with people in the community to make us, uh, we're kind of a conduit. You know, I like to say that we're the facilitator of all the things that those people are doing in the community. You know, the, the, the state park opens the park. Well, we can be a facilitator to provide uh, water safety programs to prevent drowning. You know, that's the only pool we have here. So water safety is really important for our rivers and that kind of Absolutely. stuff because our kids, we just, we need to protect them. We also have water fitness programs that we can do out at the state park. So that's one nice. of the partners we have. We're also partnering with Skyhawk this year to provide additional um, like summer camp, summer programs for our kids because we need more for our kids to do in the community. That's so a constant theme. It always. is. And, and we recognize that at this time, our resources are limited. And the best way we can operate and provide for the community is to partner with all these 
organizations. So we do some things like discovery days. We'll have that three, you know, three weeks in the summer. We'll do some gymnastics programs. We have a great solid program for our active older adults. We have, you know, 50, uh, 50 and up is our senior programming. Um, Wait, 50 and up. Is she just said uh, Just I'm, keep I'm going. Don't let it upset anymore. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it gives you a discount. So, for okay. our membership program. So, yeah, I got to use my senior discount the other day. <laughs> but we we get um, we have a really strong program. We have active older adults strong. That class will have twenty people in it. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, Bali X will have you know anywhere from eighteen to twenty five in it. So our classes are, are the attendance is really going up. So much so that we're recognizing really fast that we need. We've outgrown our facility. Well, you're putting the recreation in parks and recreation. That's for sure. Yeah. Always something engaging the community. We're that's trying wonderful. to with with nutrition classes, and it might be just eat well. You know, it's not yeah, about yeah. how do you get skinny, but how do you eat well? Absolutely. You know, um, how how do you we need to do that out at the, uh, the botanical garden? There you go. <laughs> Don't think I didn't get her phone number. Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, but we also have things like uh, chair volleyball. Have you guys ever played chair volleyball? I did. I what? have played chair volleyball. What is chair volleyball? It is me? when your bottom does not come out of the chair when you're trying to hit the ball over the net. It's pretty fun. Um, it sounds fun. Uh, it's. Uh, it's hard. And it's you harder than it looks. Yeah, it really you get really flexible about moving that chair with your butt. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. You I can go around. <laughs> well, and we celebrated National Walking Day at the beginning of April, yeah. and that was so much fun. Yes, we, we always have a good time for National Walking Day. It's the first Wednesday of April. We have walking tours, and, you know, people love coming out and seeing different aspects of our community, and they're getting That's out and walking. Cool. You know, I think that that people need to understand how important recreation in general is, not because it's just teaching us how to play. We, we need to play. We need to know how to play from the moment we're born until the day we die. Absolutely. We don't ever need to forget how to play. But we also need to recognize that recreation is also about mental health. Absolutely. And it's about social health, um, not nice. just our, our physical health. And, and recreation in parks, it's good for our environment, Right. We, if we can, we can have these open spaces where people can go out and get healthy. It also helps Mother Earth, right? Um, with just good environment. I mean, you go outside, and what's the first thing you go into a park? You, you can't help but feel some sort of peace there. Oh, absolutely. Whether it's looking at the birds or following the ants. I mean, there's so there's many things something. that you can do yeah. out in the in the. In, in nature. So I'm excited to be a part of that. I'm very excited to be. Well, we're a part excited of it. that you're a part of that. And I tell you, I love, they even do movies in the park. Oh, yes. They do. There's so much that you do for the community. Um, and a lot of people probably don't think, you know, there's somebody behind this. Now you know the face behind all this stuff <laughs> well, getting well, done. Well, honestly, do not think that it's me behind the scenes all the time because there's a whole lot of people oh, that are working and a whole lot of per people giving their passion and their talents to help other people be the best that they can be. Absolutely. Well, in the city, we've recently, the, I, recently, I guess now it's been almost a year that we opened the skate park, the skate plaza, and a lot of people enjoy doing that. And that the is splash cool. pad, <laughs> the river loop trail. There's a lot of things, and you don't have to be a city of Bastrop resident to enjoy those things, mm -hmm. nor do you have to be a city of Bastrop resident to be a member of the recreation center. Correct, correct. We do have member programs, we, and we also have non-member programs. We also have free programs. So wow. never see something that if you see something on our website, never say, oh, that's part of the membership because it may not be. And our right. membership is really reasonable. I mean, you can be a member of the the City of Bastrop Recreation Program from anywhere from $20 to $55. So $55 is a non-resident family and that includes two parents and or two adults and any children living in well, the household. Well, you can't be that kind of deal. No, no, it's really... So if I want to become a member, can I go online and do that? How, yes, how do I you do can. that? You go to cityofbastrop.org and go to the recreation page, and you'll just be excited about all the things that you see on that page. But there will be a link there that you can join. 
and uh, you can do all of it online. I'm really excited. We can now do rentals of the park pavilions online. Oh, nice. That's super exciting for us, and you can find that information. And the it's exciting over? for Terry because that means she doesn't have to take all those phone calls. Oh, I know. That's <laughs> yeah. right. And you, yeah, can you check true. dates online? Like, if I that's what I was going to yes, yes, you can. So now there's a calendar there that says, oh, nice. oh, I want to have a birthday party on the I don't know, June the 14th, and I need to see if a pavilion's available. You can go to the calendar now and see if it's available. If it is available, you can rent it right then. Oh, that's nice and convenient. Absolutely. Oh, that, and that's kind of our goal. We know that people want to do things in our parks, right? right? And they just need to have the tools to be able to do it conveniently. Well, you certainly made that happen. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, people don't believe that it's been barely two years now in July since we started the Recreation Center. We're so thankful for you and your team and everything that you've done. Make sure you check out the City of Bastrop Recreation Center. At Genesis Laser Aesthetics here in Bastrop, Texas, we offer the most advanced technology in facial rejuvenation and body contouring. With pelvic floor strengthening, Mcella is an FDA-approved treatment for urinary incontinence. Msculpt Neo can reduce fat by 30% and increase muscle mass by 25%. How about a facelift without needles, surgery, or downtime? Don't drive to Austin. Our friendly staff will be glad to set up a free consultation. 512-581-5016. So we're here with Jean Lang. And if you haven't met Jean, Jean Lang, she's the queen of catering in Bastrop. <laughs> <laughs> we are so excited that you're with us today. And and uh, besides your amazing catering, you are with the Order of the Eastern Star. I am. And you guys are doing an event, and I want to know all about it. We're having a fundraiser. Um, it's going to be on April 28th from 530 to 7, and it's going to be held at the Hampton Inn where TJ usually resides. <laughs> so And where I reside a lot I as well. So. But yeah. um, we, the, let me back up just a hair. Um, I'm a proud member of the Eastern Star. I've uh, been a member 22 years now. And my family has been a member about 130 years. Wow. So I'm um, very happy to be a member of the Eastern Star. And uh, we're a fraternal organization. And what we try to do is be the very best that we can for other people Absolutely. and and to help other people in any way that we can. We do a lot of charity work. Uh, this particular fundraiser is to raise money to give scholarships to three uh, deserving seniors in Bastrop County. Um, so we usually give uh, Cedar Creek High School senior Bastrop in um, Coda or no Circa. 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 So we give a scholarship to those a senior from each one of those groups that's amazing um and if if circa doesn't particularly have any but sometimes they just don't fill out the right the criteria that it, you know so we'll give two to bastrop and we might give two to cedar Creek, but we give three um scholarships every year to deserving seniors so um y'all come out and support us that's what our fundraiser is for um and so you're selling food we're selling right. food it's called the tour of italy and we're going to have lasagna, we're going to have chicken alfredo, mm -hmm. salad, garlic bread, um, dessert. And on top of that, we're also going to have all kinds of desserts that we're going to be selling. So it's a bake sale. You can mm -hmm. come and get wonderful food. And we have it from 530 to 7, which is kind of early, but we want people to be able to come right from work. Right. Just come. Oh, if you, you don't want to set, there'll be tables available to set where you can eat with us. If you don't, you can put it in a to-go box. You know, we'll package it for you and you can just Take go. it home. Oh, it didn't but, get any better than yeah. touring at the house. Nope, touring. Absolutely. There you go. Straight but home. Um, I will be the cook. Yay. So and Yes, we know, always like it when you say I will be the I'm going to be the cook. So. so I also come from, I'm also mm -hmm. ordered the Eastern Star. My lodge is in Tampson, Texas. Uh, like yours, my family for hundreds of years mm -hmm. have been uh, in the Masonic family. And so a lot of people ask, well, what's Order of the Eastern Star? And I always say, we're the female Masons. That's right. right? <laughs> we're the so, female portion of the, the Masonic Lodge. That's Although right. the Eastern Star 
has to have male members of two. We have to have Masonic members right. as well. Right. So they're not all, you know, female. But female, it's right. pretty much known as the female the portion female. of the Masonic Lodge. Yeah. And we're not sacrificing goats. No. Okay. No. <laughs> How many people have asked me, y'all sacrifice goats? No, not unless we're going to eat them. We're going to cook them. <laughs> yeah. But um, so it's a great organization. Y'all come out right. and and get something good to eat. The plates are ten dollars. You can't eat anywhere. You can't eat at McDonald's for ten dollars. Yeah, that's so. amazing. And this is good homemade food, and the fellowship's going to be good. We usually have a little music, and we have baskets for silent auctions. So we'll have different, you know, that's activities. Fun. We usually have people singing, and just it's just a jolly old good old fashioned Friday night. Little small town, hometown fun. Well, well that takes go. care of dinner for April 28th. That's right. But Jean Lane Catering can help you any day. Any day. <laughs> so tell us about that. Well, I've been a caterer for 35 years, and it started out as a hobby, just people saying, can you fix, you know, can you do something for my son's wedding? Or, you know, my dad died. Can you help us? You know, uh, so I do anything. And I'd say from five people to 5,000, it doesn't matter. Um but I love cooking. That's my passion. That's my hobby. And I love to make people happy through food, through their well, stomachs. Well, you make me happy I through love food. To make you. It's so uh, good. My husband has such an affinity for for Jean's banana bread. He pouts <laughs> if it goes by two weeks in and get banana bread. <laughs> He's and spoiled. My husband said, babe... She's a really good cook. You better be glad I didn't meet her before you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. But, yeah, I love to cook. Um, we, you know, doesn't matter what your, you know, what your event is. And I, I've really started Jean Lane Catering because I need a job. You know, I wanted a job that I could be my own boss. But I love making people happy, and I like to throw a good party. So There you, you know, go. <laughs> the food's the main part of the party usually, so hey, there you go. And, you so. know, we always reach out first to Jean through the hotel. Everybody well, does. I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate everyone, that. I appreciate that. Everyone, like you said, everyone does. I know you do a lot of stuff for the Opera House. I do. So if they want to call you instead of their own catering, how do they do that? Um, of course, phone is, you can do that. Uh, I'm at... 512-718-1049. Uh, I do have a catering email, which is Catering at gmail.com. I kind of have a secretary now. Wow. My uh, daughter has taken over doing that, so she usually answers emails. She thinks she's Miss Duda, so she has to, you know, that's her part of doing. I know you're not talking about poor Ruth. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about Ruth, so. But, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, We'll, we'll get back to you. Usually within, I would say, an hour or two, a lot of people are like, well, give us 24 hours. We try to get back to you like within an hour or two. We want to we want to get you taken care of. We don't want you to have to worry. Oh, am I going to have a cater? Of course you are. We want to get back <laughs> to you soon. So that's the way it. we operate. Well, thank you so much for coming on. We always enjoy it when you're a guest thank on you, the show. Thank you. And, and I believe you were on season one, right? We're on the season very first six season. Now, the right. very first season. Yeah. And, and Jean often often gets suckered into coming in as a guest. <laughs> but you always have the coolest things going well, on. <laughs> thank you. Remember, April 28th, 530, The Hampton. See y'all. Well, Connie, that was a great episode. We Who promised knew? him a good one. Everything about Botanical Gardens right here available. Absolutely. And and hopefully them and Terry Moore can get together and talk about how they can add some more recreation into the area. I'm sure Terry's probably already got her scheduled for classes. Probably so. And I tell you what, I cannot wait to go to the fundraiser for Order the Eastern Star on April 28th. Ten dollars for a meal, and Jean was right. You can't even go through McDonald's and get a meal anymore for ten dollars. Well, why would you go through McDonald's if you had the opportunity to eat Jean Lang's Italian food? That's true. So you guys don't want to miss it, and what you also don't want to miss is another episode of the Heart of Bastrop Talk Show. Talk Show. Go to theheartofbastrop.com, and you can watch episodes all the way up to episode one of our very first season. We'll see you guys next week.